Backed by a rich legacy of building top-notch performance machines, KTM, based in Austria, is Europe's largest motorcycle manufacturer. With an eye to expand their customer base, KTM entered the competitive Indian market through a partnership with Bajaj. The first product, the 200 Duke, is a street bike unlike any other in the country. If you thought that the Duke was unchallenged in this segment, you'd be wrong. In late 2010, Bajaj set out to rework their highly popular Pulsar series of bikes. Their intention? To offer the Indian consumer a trend-setting yet affordable performance bike. Enter the Pulsar 200 NS, an all-new bike designed ground up by Bajaj with inputs from KTM. Choose My Bike puts you in the rider's seat to let you decide how they stack up. The 200 Duke was designed with an emphasis on using lightweight materials, so plastic body panels are used rather than metal. The whole bike is built in a tight package that concentrates the mass in the center. This aids the bike to change direction quickly. The quality of build on the 200 Duke is very high, with attention paid to detail even on the smallest of parts. This is the first bike manufactured in India equipped with a trolley frame. This design improves the rigidity and reduces the weight of the bike. The 199cc single-cylinder engine draws from KTM's experience in building world-class engines that have won multiple racing championships. The liquid-cooled engine features a short-stroke layout, electronic fuel injection, four-valve setup with dual overhead camshafts, and is mated to a six-speed gearbox. The Duke packs quite a punch with a power output of 25 bhp and 19.2 Nm of torque at 8000 rpm. The exhaust system is positioned underneath the center of the bike. The short length of the exhaust improves torque at low RPMs, while its central positioning helps in lowering the center of gravity. The bike is equipped with a 280mm four-piston caliper disc brake in the front and a 230mm disc with a single piston caliper in the rear. The combination is more than efficient in bringing the Duke to a halt from any speed. The front suspension employs an inverted telescopic fork, this system reduces unsprung mass and offers better cornering performance compared to standard forks. It has a stiff setup which improves stability while braking and cornering but translates into a hard ride. The rear suspension on the bike comprises of an adjustable monoshock and an aluminium alloy swing arm. Although the monoshock can be adjusted for stiffness, the rear suspension is just as hard as the front. The 200 comes equipped with a fully digital multifunction display that includes the speedometer, tachometer and key rider information. Overall, the Duke is a compact motorcycle with a high ground clearance of 165mm. The bike offers a riding posture that is upright with the foot pegs placed slightly towards the rear. This posture is comfortable for most riders as it does not apply weight on the wrists. The pillion seat is relatively small in size and is not too comfortable for long rides. The bike is great to ride in the city. The compact dimensions, lively chassis and the peppy engine come onto their own, making it easy to maneuver through heavy traffic. The engine delivers sufficient torque at low RPMs to stay ahead of the crowd. Thanks to the short gearing, the 200 Duke can accelerate quickly and also run as low as 35 km per hour in 6th gear, although the rider would need to work through the gears more frequently. On the highway, due to the short ratios of the gears, the 200 Duke struggles to cruise comfortably at high speeds. Otherwise, the stiff chassis setup lends good stability when riding on the highway with enough grunt to overtake most traffic with ease. The Duke will cover an average of 350 km on a full tank of fuel. It helps that it's also one of the lightest in its class. The standard tyres from MRF offers loads of grip, aiding the bike's cornering and stability. Deviating from the clean and muscular lines of the previous generation Pulsars, the 200NS is a fresh design with a minimalistic yet aggressive approach to the styling. The previous generation's downtube frame makes way for a lighter and more rigid steel perimeter frame, which improves the bike's handling and stability at speed. The Pulsars engine is based on the 200 Duke. They share the same bore and stroke dimensions, but the similarities end there. The engine of the 200NS is fed via a 33mm carburetor and uses a single camshaft rather than two to operate its four valves. It is mated to a six-speed gearbox. With a power output of 23 bhp and 18.3 Nm of torque at 8000 rpm, the Pulsar is close on the heels of the 200 Duke. 
Bajaj has incorporated the new triple spark technology into this engine. It ensures a more efficient combustion, thereby improving mileage and power output. The four valve system allows a greater volume of the air fuel mixture into the engine, thereby increasing power. In a first for the Pulsar series, the 200NS employs a liquid cooling system. This is far more efficient than air cooling and allows the bike to run longer without overheating. Like the 200 Duke, the Pulsar also has its exhaust system fitted underneath the bike. The underbelly exhaust lowers the bike's center of gravity and improves its cornering ability. The 200NS has a non-adjustable 37mm diameter telescopic fork at the front and an adjustable monoshock at the rear. The monoshock is gas charged which offers more cushioning than hydraulic shock absorber. The bike features a 280mm disc brake at the front and a 230mm disc at the rear. The pedal pattern discs cool faster, thereby retaining their effectiveness over longer duration. The instrument console consists of a digital speedometer and an analog tachometer. As with all pulsers, the switch symbols are all backlit, making them more visible in low light. The 200NS is longer than the Duke and has a ground clearance of 167mm, sufficient to clear most speed breakers. The riding posture is relaxed for a street fighter bike, with the arms placed comfortably high on the clip-on handlebars and the feet placed slightly towards the rear. The pillion seat is wider than the Duke, but can get a little hard on long rides. Thanks to the sporty chassis setup and the torquey engine, the 200NS is a lively bike to ride in the city. The compact dimensions allow the bike to maneuver through traffic with relative ease while the power and torque on offer make light work of passing traffic. The 200NS makes for an able long-distance tourer thanks to its comfortable ergonomics and the relaxed cruising nature of the engine. The tall gear ratios and the low-end torque ensure that the bike rarely runs out of steam, making overtaking easy. The only sore point is the hard seat cushioning, which makes it difficult to ride for extended durations. Pulsar 200NS will give you an average of 480 km on a full tank. The standard Eurogrip tyres are ideal for everyday use. However, if you're looking to bring out the real potential of the bike, you will have to upgrade to premium tyres. Let's take a closer look at how they measure up against each other. If you're someone who's looking for an adrenaline-packed, nimble-footed and highly responsive performance bike, the 200 Duke is the one for you. The engine-chassis combination makes every commute a treat. A minor shortcoming is the hard suspension setup, which means the bike is best suited for well-surfaced roads and short trips. The 200 Duke is priced on the higher side for a 200cc bike, but could be justified by the numerous features and high-quality components that it offers. On the other hand, the Pulsar 200NS is for the rider who wants a more relaxed yet fast bike. Thanks to its taller gear ratios, the Pulsar is the better bike for cruising long distances, but the hard seat and high speed vibrations detract from the experience. As an overall package, the 200NS offers exceptional value for money and makes performance motorcycling accessible to a wider audience.